So if you're watching the uh, upcoming events on Hillingdon TV, then this is the place to be. If you don't want to watch the boring, standard old norm you see on the normal terrestrial channels. Sorry. <laughs> What's the inspiration behind On The Job? Ah, the inspiration behind On The Job was when I was on the toilet. That's why it got the name On The Job. Because <laughs> I was on the job, having a job. And I sat there and, you know, you get these epiphanies. You're like, I'll tell you what, why don't we just, like, make some reality show about what I do. And what do I do in life? I, I'm a man of van. I do man of van work. Right, next one coming over. I ain't all day. What's <laughs> up with you? Sort yourself yeah. out. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, sort it out, mate. For yes. fuck's sake. Sorry, this is someone's bedroom. Mr. Cusman's bedroom. Sort it out, mate. Sorry, mate. Come get out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so, how much filming have you got left to do? Are you ah. going to be all ready for the end of the month? No, you are going to have to speak to Jeff. Okay. Jeff, like, this is like, you, this is, you, you would think it would be me you're asking the question to because I, the creator and so forth, but you would have to ask Jeff. He's the man in the know. Jeff is our in the knowledge when it comes to filming, everything to do with filming, and that's it. And all we do is act stupid in front of cameras. <laughs> and we love it. Yes, we do. <laughs> what is On The Job about? What have you been doing? Right, so On The Job with Wayne H is uh, a spoof comedy sketch show. It's kind of like Only Fools and Horses meets Little Britain. Right. So we've got the Only Fools and Horses element where you've got Wayne H who's always trying to make a living and always getting stuff wrong, basically never succeeding. And then you've got the Little Britain element which is uh, outrageous sketches basically where we've got larger than life characters who are appalling uh, and they do all sorts of crazy things. And we tie these two scenes together, they're all set in the same sort of town. Um, and the other element which is a bit like Little Britain is that a lot of the, ar uh, the actors play more than one character. Mm -hmm. So Wayne himself plays himself, he plays a character called Uncle Danny. Mm -hmm. Who's that lovely bit of skirt you've got working behind that counter then? Oh, she's no, it's Lona. Lona? Oh, oh she's lovely. That's just Lona, is it? Oh, well, yeah, some people call her that. Dolly, I mean, she'll suit you, bub. I tell you what, it's worth waiting 10 minutes for the check now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it certainly is, my friend. <laughs> so, can you tell us about your character? Well, you don't have to, I won't tell him about, I'll just tell him myself, it's me, is it? <laughs> oh, I'm Uncle Danny. <laughs> U-N-C-L-E. Danny. <laughs> and I've got a nasty minder. He's a right hard nuts. And I'll tell you something, he'll have you if he needs to. You are, sir. Come on in, I'll take you, you away. Are, sir. His name's Gordy. <laughs> you just remember that G O R D Y, Gordy. <laughs> You're a lovely lady, aren't you? Would you like to come out with a drink? No. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I'll have to check my diary. Yeah, it's very hard for a lady like yourself to turn down the channels of a man like me or Danny. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, I'm so looking forward hey! to being on the job. <laughs> <laughs> on the job? Oh, oh wipe your bum off. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Sally. Thank you so much. It's been so enlightening this interview, and, and then we must do this again sometime. When, when the show's created, it actually finished, and uh, Jeff's got himself situated and done all the gubbins, as it were, and got the sear. The, um, yeah. What were we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having an interview. Hey! Hillington <laughs> TV That's today. What was it? Hey! It's <laughs> 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 yes, been very charming, so May I just say, you're a very, a very delightful lady to do interviews. And uh, I must go now because I can see that the the wolf is waiting at the door. As okay. it were. So Jeff is over there, <laughs> and uh, I must go. Don't, please don't hit me, Jeff. <laughs> um, when are we hoping to broadcast? But I, I won't know exactly how long it will take me. I've actually edited part of it already, so that's oh, yeah. The, and the stuff we've already shot on previous days has already been edited. It's hilarious. It's <laughs> absolutely ridiculous, uh, outrageous, but also a light, nice, light-hearted thing because we're not in a greatly light-hearted period of time. So mm. it's nice just to watch yeah. something insane that your brain's just going to explode. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I was um, stood on at the back of set watching one bit being filmed earlier, and it. I, I had to work very hard not to laugh out loud. Oh, they help me. I don't know. The fucking tree comes down and we go. I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Goldie, why weren't you here? I can't leave you for one minute. Oh, no, you? I'm sorry, but the fridge has got to be on. No matter what's going to be here. I sent you over the Jack Daniels, but that's all the story now. I didn't even get in the Jack Daniels. You're having a bloody laugh, Goldie, now. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd like to. Uh, I don't want to bring too much to light, but uh, on the job, we'll be broadcasting soon, as soon yes. as it's finished. 
and um, it's going to be something different. So make sure you uh, tune in just to see what it's all about. For me, Wayne Yates, and for Rizzo, we'll see you next time on All New Job and Wayne Yates. Take care. Oh, no.